Hello and welcome to this lesson on what is a hash. We've mentioned hashing algorithms before and they are a fundamental part of blockchain and cryptography in general. But what is a hash? A hash is essentially a one way function where its aim is to take some data as input. So imagine this is some data and what it does is it outputs something totally different that does not resemble its original form and it is not reversible. It is not reversible. So if you have this output, you can't just get that and reverse, reverse it into its original form or digital content whether that is some sort of image or a video file or even a text document is literally just ones and zeros and a hash function a hash function there are plenty of them out there we'll cover some of them in a moment a hash function takes any digital content literally anything on your computer any file anything is a piece of digital content and produces a unique or i shouldn't exactly say unique it's unique enough and I, again i'll explain what that means in a moment as well hash value that can be used to determine almost like the validity of that file of the original source and it's always going to be the same for that particular files a very very common format for hashes is hexadecimal it could be something else it doesn't have to be hexadecimal but that is a very very common format any modifications done to that file so imagine if we have a bunch of strings um, let's just write some more so we have this text file that has these numbers in there essentially strings if this produces one result if we were to go and change just one of these values so let's just change this to a free the output will now be totally different it will be totally different so any small or large modification will result in a hash value that is absolutely different and that's one of the core parts of hashing algorithms most of the time the output is significantly smaller than the input file and the algorithm is designed to ensure the input data cannot be retrieved or calculated, like I said, from the output data, hence the term one-way function. And to wrap up, hashing algorithms have three main requirements. And these three requirements are it needs to be reasonably fast to generate the hash. Are you might thinking reasonably fast? Wouldn't faster the better be great? And no, because if it's too quick, it's concerned for security reasons. Because when people and computers are trying to hack information that has been hashed using what, a one-way system, one of the things they will do is actually use the original hashing algorithm and just put a whole bunch of information and just random text, random files through the algorithm. And if it's too fast, they will easily be able to get to what that original hash is. And they'll be able to compare it and say, okay, this was the actual file. So it needs to be reasonably fast, but not too fast. And another main thing, if you change one bit the entire hash must change so even one bit change should result 
in an entirely different different hash value and finally it must be unique enough to prevent hash collision so must be unique enough to prevent hash collisions because ultimately if you have let's say a hashing algorithm which has a length of 128 bits there are only so many different unique values that this hashing algorithm can pump out and with the tremendous amount of other documents alone that are out there there's bound to be some hash collisions but as long as the hash collisions can be pre prevented from actually occurring w w with let's say people and individuals that are most likely to have data that are common and they're going to be sort of compared with each other it's okay so the last thing i'm going to cover is the hashing algorithms that are out there some of them there's one called md5 this is no longer used for a long time this was used for passwords this is so easy to crack now if you were to get a md5 value put it into google and just do a search google will most likely just give you the result there's just so many websites out there that have a catalog of most of the results so md5 is just terrible after that sha1 was developed that was very secure that's it looking like it's probably cracked now there's another one called sha2 and a new standard has been designed for i think you guessed the name sha3 and that was just published in 2015 and, and what you'll see a lot of time is hashing algorithm like SHA-256, SHA-1 128 and this is essentially the number of bits that the actual algorithm pumps out so the higher the number of bits the more uniqueness that it can take but on the flip side the more complexity in terms of the processing but computers are getting faster so we can handle more complex hashing algorithms so that's it for hashing algorithms if you have any questions feel free to ask them to me and i look forward to seeing you in the next video